I think we're doing it. We're doing an unedited day in my life. My name is Sonali. Welcome back to a new vlog. It is currently Friday, April, not April. It's definitely August 5th. Um, and it's almost about to be 9 a.m. This is how my hair <laughs> is right after I woke up. Um, I just took out Sophie, washed my face, brushed my teeth, did a little bit of skincare. I... <clears throat> love doing like a 10 minute step skincare routine but i know that like minimal products are better for the face so in the morning i try to keep it simple so i've just been using the charlotte tilbury like magic cream and i've been really liking it i remember trying it on a vlog for you guys and like telling you guys i didn't like see that much of a difference or just like i didn't really love it but now I don't know why but it's really just like thick and like creamy and it really does moisturize so I've been really liking that um but today let's see what's on the calendar um I got back from my California trip and maybe I can maybe I can insert some clips from that and maybe that will be the only edited part um of this vlog but I went to California to visit my grandma grandpa and all of my mom's side of the family that lives over there. So they pretty much all live in Irvine. Um, and so we just did family hangout stuff and we went to two beaches and swam in the pool and it was just nice to relax. I actually got back Monday, but I still feel like a little wonky. And that's, that's like what sucks about traveling is that I, take so long to get back into my routine and I just feel like so off for like a full week or like even two weeks after I even travel for like a couple days which is so annoying because that's how I have felt this whole week I'm not really sure why I just feel like I haven't been on my a game with honestly everything um and it's kind of funny because sometimes I'll be around like friends I haven't seen in a while and they're like, oh my god, you're killing it on like Instagram and all the platforms. And I'm just like, but I'm not. Like, I really don't feel that way. Even if it looks like it, because maybe I'm repurposing on TikTok onto Instagram reels and like they see that as like, you know, doing stuff. But I just feel like I'm not feeling like fulfilled at all one bit. <laughs> like, I'm just like asking myself every single day, what am I doing with my life? What am I like? what is my purpose okay that got really deep really fast but like <laughs> well, i'm not i'm not joking i've been really asking myself like what the frick am i supposed to be doing like in my life um anyway so today i really wanted to be a more productive day just get a lot of stuff done honestly like with checking off big stuff off my to-do list i've done that this week um for example I did some research on, well, Ryan helped me do some research, research um, on getting new headlights for my car because they've been so dim for so long. Every time we drive at night and someone gets in our car, they're like, are your headlights on? And they are, they're just super dim. So I took it to our usual guy, which honestly, I'm never going back there again because they've just gotten so, I don't know. At first when I went there, they were so kind and like almost like I knew they weren't taking advantage of me, but like as they've gotten new people, Mm -mm. I do not vibe with these people so I'm just like no we're not coming back here again but I had to pay like a hundred something dollars to just get it checked out and they said that the reflector was like I... see this is where I would cut that out like it gets so loud out there I'm not sure if it picks up like entirely in the video but it gets so freaking loud out there but anyways um yeah something with the reflector is like messed up so it's not even like the bulbs and the voltage so the whole headlight unit has to be replaced which is definitely more expensive so ryan was just like you should just buy the parts and have someone else put it in i've never done that before but i feel like headlights aren't like i wouldn't want to say essential because they definitely are essential but like i've gotten like a what's it called no i think ryan put in my battery too i don't know basically and at least it's not my engine like i would definitely go to like cadillac to get my engine fixed or something like crazy like that but i tried to get some quotes from like cadillac just to put in the part and it was like 500 dollars, and i was like <sighs> so maybe we'll have to do that but anyways the part is coming tomorrow so we'll figure that out when that happens and then i just like paid off my credit cards and um what else oh paid my medical bill that i had 
I remember vlogging this like whenever I went to I think it was like the dermatologist or something um and I was like at the checkout counter and I was like do, you, do I need to do anything because you know like I thought you pay right then and there and of course she's like oh you're good like have a great day blah blah, blah. and I was like okay cool so I walk out thinking it's totally free and then of course the bill comes to my door and I'm like why couldn't I just have paid it there and like why couldn't she have told me I owe something like I literally walked out of there thinking it was free and also I was in there for like five minutes they did this they looked at my scalp I literally told the doctor exactly what to give me because I've had so many ointments over the years that you know I know what works for me and what doesn't so next time I'm literally not going to go into a freaking doctor's office I'm going to do some stupid cheap ass telehealth thing just so that they can prescribe me the medicine that I know I need like I was so mad I had to pay so much for that um so yeah this is adulting I never know like what insurance actually covers and like what I actually have to pay for but not too long until I'm 26 and I get kicked off my parents insurance and I have to pay like a monthly fee for my insurance that's not gonna be fun really really dreading that like does anything come does any fun thing come out of being 26 please let me know because I am dreading it um anyways today um there's just some like admin kind of stuff and last night i actually got a subscription for this app called daily habit um and i thought this was really cool so basically you can like create like a habit and then you can mark off the day that you did it so like for example this one says um in another vlog i said i wanted to be on stories more and so this one says 10 ig stories so like i'll try my best to be on stories 10 times a day no matter if that's like a picture or like me talking i really really want to talk more and just like get more comfortable because like whenever i do it it's totally fine but then i go in phases where i don't post at all and then it's like warming up to the camera again and it's so hard to get back into it like this is such a first world problem but like you know it is kind of like part of my job so i really need to like get back into it so anyways um then i want to post an instagram reel for every day and then post three tiktoks the tiktoks every single day minimum um i want to post one amazon shoppable photo so that's like on my storefront because i have so many like photos that i um have amazon stuff in um and then i have like two like to know it posts so basically like to know and amazon are the same thing but amazon is just for like the amazon stuff if that makes sense and then i want to post something on my photography account i really need to get better at this um whether that's a real a story an in-feed post even though those suck um so yeah i can do that and then schedule three pins on pinterest and then 10k steps which i feel like is a reach but like so many people are doing it and i really just want to be more active so anyways yesterday was thursday and i just did <laughs> the one instagram reel but today i'm going to try to click off all of them so that'll be fun okay so today is let's see yeah like i said i'm just doing a lot of admin stuff and then i have a hair appointment at three or something i don't know at first she said 2 30 but then they called me and said three but basically when i when i first dyed my hair like completely dark um it was like amazing but then the toner fades so fast and that is exactly why i went back dark because i was just like i'm so sick of like getting my hair toned every freaking month it feels like at least and I asked my hairdresser if I could just buy something at home to like tone it myself. Um, but I'm going in again because she said that if you like, the more you tone it like darker, the more it'll grab on. So I'm really hoping that this time it grabs on. And like, I really haven't been swimming that much. Like I really haven't been washing my hair that much for it to be like fading this freaking fast. So I don't know the fact that I have to go back into the hair salon and it's just like, ugh, cause it's like, a drive away and you know I'm just lazy so that is what's on the itinerary today and then um, yeah I guess I don't really have anything else to say right now so I'll end, <laughs> I'll end this clip here and I'll talk to you guys later so I think I just had a mental breakdown because I just 
I think I just said it, but I just feel so unfulfilled and I'm just like almost at my breaking point. Um, so I think I should like get changed, throw my hair up in like a claw clip or a ponytail and go downstairs and walk on the treadmill. I could walk on this treadmill, but I, I just want to like not really have to think and I want to watch YouTube videos and really I'm just not in a place to do any work right now. Luckily, I have that flexibility and yeah, let's see if I can get to 10k steps and how long it will take me. Maybe I'll just get bored super fast, but I also think I need to hydrate and then after we'll make some breakfast. I'm not really sure what I have because I haven't really gone grocery shopping yet, but I bought sourdough bread yesterday from um, Easy Tiger down the street, so we'll have that. I'm hoping I have some ripe avocado so I can make avocado toast, but we'll see. Anyways, I just think I just really need to my apartment yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the fit I have like a cute little matching set from Bandier and then <clears throat> I think this is from Amazon just gonna walk on the treadmill get some endorphins is that what they call them <laughs> and hopefully I'll be in a better mood I'm getting very hangry. This is the bread we bought yesterday. It's the Austin something something. Sorry. What? Austin something. <laughs> but we are. Well, tell tell them what you said. Don't mind the trash back there. Um, tell them what you came down and asked me on the treadmill. Do that thing be thinging. Um. if she wanted oysters from Whole Foods for Oyster Day today. And so... So she said no. No, I said yes. No, Sophie said no. And I stopped on the treadmill a little bit earlier than 10k steps. Because... I'm getting my hair done at 2.30 and I wanted to do my makeup and now I'm like really sweaty because I just took a shower but I just wasn't very cold shower. Um, and Sophie just pooped on my really nice rug in my office. And I stepped in it. Love that for me. Okay, I'm gonna eat my toast now. Does butter expire? Get moldy, I think. Uh, what? I think it's fine. Oh, I haven't had sourdough in so long. I'm so excited. My camera angle is something else. So basically the trash was sitting there because the trash can, the, the trash guy came last night. We have to put the whole trash can out with the trash, but we had another trash bag anyways. And I'm just gonna get the toast. Yummy. And then this butter, which I love, it is the that brand it's vegan butter but I'm not even vegan I just really like the taste on sourdough it's so good my mom showed it to me my mom is vegan when I'm not around <laughs> she likes to eat a little bit of meat when I'm around and when my sister's around but mostly vegan so I get a lot of snack ideas from her So good, but I feel like it's gonna be hot and I'm already hot. Like I feel like, oh, I'll bring my fan. I have, like a little portable fan, I hope it's charged. That thing can do some good. Cause it like really cool me down. I think we bought it for ACL. I don't even remember really using it that much for ACL. Okie dokie. I didn't really wanna try too hard with my outfit today cause I'm still feeling a little bit funky. Like I really thought that walk would like, you know, make me feel super, super happy again, but unfortunately I didn't do it. But I did get a lot of work done. Like I literally crossed off or like clicked on one of those bubbles in the Habit app for like four of them. So I'm very happy about that.
I just like to do a little salt on it because I'm nuts and I really like salt. Okay. Ryan, are you ready? You want to go now? I can eat this in the car. Or now. I need to find that fan. So my uh, fitness app actually did tell me I hit 10K steps. just stepping it up because I've seen Central Market do such a good job. Okay, so I am about to drive on over to my hair appointment. I literally just dropped Ryan off with the oysters and I'm so excited. They actually asked if we wanted them shucked, but I bought Ryan a shucker on Amazon. So he was just like, it's okay because we can just do it at home. But I'm glad that I know that they can shuck them there because if I'm ever wanting them and Ryan's not here, like I can get them and don't have to shuck them myself. Um, but what was I going to say? Oh, I was very shook like that the whole like 12 was it 12 uh, so a dozen is $12 and you can get like any variety that you want um because one of the oysters were 99 cents and the other oysters were $2 each. So I was kind of shocked that you could get the other oysters, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, because I thought you could, you would only be able to get those like $1 oysters, but I'm super excited. And we got cocktail sauce. We got horder, hor, uh, horseradish and Ryan forgot to get his crackers, but I think he said he was going to HEB later. So maybe that's why. And then I also got a poppy. I haven't had a poppy in so long. I've been trying to stay away from like super carbonated drinks and just like soda in general, but I saw it and I really, really wanted it. So I got it. And then also, um, I remember that my hair salon is right next to a Gigi's Cupcakes, which I think I was like introduced to these in Georgia in high school, I think. But then I started, but <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> See, this is where I, a part where I would edit it out because I just stutter so much and you guys don't even know that I do because I edit so much shit out. Anyways. So I ate them at first in like Georgia when I was in high school and then there was one in Athens. Ryan went to UGA so I would get them there and then when I saw it near my hair salon every time I go I'm like oh I'm gonna get Gigi's because I like pull in and it's like on this side you know but then when I pull out I can't, I can't really see it so I don't like I don't remember that I want it like that I wanted it. Um, so anyways I'm going to get some I think cupcakes after my hair salon appointment if I can freaking remember um but I think I need to get Mariana some coffee first she asked me to pick something up on the way so I'm gonna go to Starbucks and if I'm early that's great I can just do some random things on my phone so I'm just gonna go head there now wait let me see how far it is I think it's like 30 minutes and it's like an hour before I'm supposed to be there yeah it's exactly 30 minutes so I'll just go to a Starbucks around there. Exactly. <laughs> You're not in performer mode, yeah. then no. So, but if he's like, sure, I'm like, cool. There you go, I heard the goods. Say hi. I feel like here, I'm here so often. <laughs> blasting the AC because it was way too hot in my car but I just got my hair done back to dark basically um she was talking to a hair color specialist in there and she was saying that it's kind of like lightening your hair the first time it's not going to be bleach, bleach blonde 
are just like super, super light. Like you have to go in for sessions and you know, lighten it up every single time. So it's kind of like that. You have to like darken it up every single time, which sucks because I thought I could just dye it and be done with it. But I guess I'll just have to keep doing that. But I think she said she could buy me the toner and I could do it at home, which I feel like would just be more efficient this way because my hair is just not cooperating and taking the dye. Um, but I think I'm gonna go over to Gigi's Cupcakes like right next door. I always see it on my way in and then I forget every time on the way out to grab some. So I think I'm gonna get some for dessert. I think I'll do a Midnight Magic and then How good these look. We got a midnight chocolate something, carrot cake, red velvet cake, and wedding cake. Yum. I'm home and I just went to HEB, grabbed some stuff. I was really only supposed to get Ryan some saltine crackers, but I've actually been needing to go to HEB because um, there was some just things on my list to get. Of course, I got some off-brand H-E-B LaCroix and then um, I'm really excited because I finally got this bar barkeeper's friend it's supposed to like help clean pretty much anything but mostly like cookware what else I need to look up ways that I can use this just like a really powerful cleaner pretty much and I need to remember to wear gloves for this and then some more urine spray because Sophie, you know, sometimes does have accidents. I'm very excited about this because I really want to make this like literally right now. I saw a TikTok recipe. I'm going to try to attempt it. These um, mango popsicles with chamoy and tahine. And I have some mangoes that I don't know if they're gone bad. If they are, I'm probably just going to use the frozen mangoes, but hopefully they didn't. And then I got the mango nectar for it. Um, but yeah, I got the saltines. I was actually in line to check out. And I was like, holy shit, I didn't get his crackers for the oysters. Like, that's literally why I came here. So that would have been bad. And then I ran out of like one certain raisin. And then good thing I checked the expiration date before I ate the other raisins that I had. Because they were expired. Then I got some sour cream and look at this cottage cheese. I also saw a TikTok of someone eating cottage cheese and that just made me want it so bad. This is lactate cottage cheese. I'm so intrigued. And then, let's see. Um, I don't know, I don't really want to bore you guys. I feel like the other stuff is just, you know, basics and stuff. Um, but like I said, Ryan's going to play golf right now. So I think he'll be home like later. And I hung out with my friends on Tuesday, I think. We were like, we should go out this weekend. Like we always say we're gonna do it, but we never do. Then of course, Friday rolls around. <laughs> I feel like no one's really responding in the group chat. And anyways, I, you know, I'd be down if everyone was down, but I don't think like anyone or everyone is, I don't know, anyways. So I thought we were going out tonight, but I guess not. <sighs> I just don't wanna, you know, waste another Friday night. Not waste it, cause I'll be with Ryan. But still, like, you know, like I wanna like do something fun. I feel like we're always in the house. But update on like just the way I feel. I guess I feel a lot better getting out of the house, doing stuff, seeing other people. Um, and it's always so fun to see Mariana because her and I are like actually friends, so. Like we, it's not just that she's my hairstylist, but I will tag her um, Instagram page. She specializes in balayages. I think I said that already. Anyways, I'm gonna put these groceries away, take Sophie out and then just chill because I think I completed like almost all of my little habit bubbles. So I'm very excited to get that started and get that going. Cause this is like technically the first official day that I did it. Um, I don't know if I'll do it on the weekends because technically like half of them are work things, but maybe I can like on Fridays double it up so that 
I can be active on Saturday and Sunday and try to like schedule it out, you know? So I'm gonna think about that, but I'll talk to you guys in a bit. What I really wanna get into on TikTok are those like fast vlogs. I love cooking and just like making things and I'm always inspired by TikTok recipes. So I thought I could try to do like a fast vlog for this. So I have everything set up here. Let me zoom you guys in. And I don't know, this is like a lot of pressure, but I guess you guys can see the behind the scenes of this TikTok. Um, but I basically cut up all the mango. And then before I start this, I'm gonna use this mango nectar as well, just to blend it really nicely. Let's see. Okay, so I pretty much film like the whole thing. And then I use CapCut to like cut it really, really fast. So I'm just gonna hit film. I feel like this could be more aesthetic, but I don't really care. Anyways, I'm just gonna dump the mango into my Vitamix cup. Hopefully I didn't need the bigger blender. Hopefully this is enough. weird piece in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put in this mango nectar. Whoa. Whoa. It smells very like strong mango. Okay, I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of that. I guess not too much. I don't know how much. Honestly, I could always add more. some kind of like a rubber like bottle opener because it is like so hard to open shit now. My wrists are not strong. I literally think I need to do something about that because what is the other thing that I use my wrist for? I don't know. <laughs> but I realized that my wrists need some help. popsicle little thingy from Briogeo in a PR package and it even has these really cute like clear sticks that say Briogeo on them they're so cute and I'm finally getting to use this like this package came so long ago but it, this popsicle thing has been in my storage for so long um but I'm gonna start with I think this chamoy on the bottom. I kind of want to taste it. I think I've had this before though, like on mango margaritas and stuff like that, but okay. Mmm. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> In my, not high school, middle school, 
my friend used to bring me these like chicken lollipop no, wait no chick yeah chi it was a chicken like literally a, a sculpture of a chicken and it was like kind of it kind of tasted like this I want them so bad now that I just tasted that. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna drizzle some of this on the tops or technically on the bottoms, I guess, right now. Um, in there, and then we can put the mango and kind of just like layer it. But I don't know how many of these popsicles I'm gonna be able to make because I don't really have that many, which is fine because I just really wanna try it out. So also, one thing I like to do for my TikTok vlogs or really anything these days, I really like to zoom in. I don't know why. I think it looks just cooler and it's easier to like not get all the stuff around it. <clears throat> okay, so let's start with like four, maybe. This is going to be so good. I'm so glad I finally got this stuff. It tastes so good. I wonder what else it's good with. Can you please comment below? What should I eat this with? Because now I'm like, oh, like, it just tastes so good. It's kind of like sweet and spicy. Maybe that's why I like it. It's not like super spicy if you never had it before. Okay, so that is in. Oh, you couldn't even really see it. Okay. Should I do six? No, okay. Now how do I get this in there all nicely? Maybe a spoon. All right. I feel like this might not be the most efficient way, but that's okay. Yeah, that wasn't that much, but whatever. It might be a little messy. Oh wait, maybe I could do more. Maybe these popsicle things are, sm or, yeah, smaller than I thought. Let me like put you guys down here so you can actually see all the action. <laughs> Even though there's not much going on, I guess. Oh, you can't even really see. Oh well. Me dripping on the sides is not very aesthetic, but it's okay. All right, should we do tahini next or chamoy? Maybe tahini, what do we think? I'm just gonna clean off the top to make it a little more pretty. You scared me. Aren't you supposed to be golfing? I am hungry. Look at what I'm making. I'm making popsicles. Mango popsicles. With tahini and chamoy. You mean what? Chamoy. Chamoy. This. <coughs> you want to try it? No, it's try it. It's rolling. The Yeti. Full of oysters. We're going to wash them and chuck them. Yay! I'm excited! <laughs> I'm going to cover them with ice. 
them. What? So they cover them with ice when you wash them, you know, the salt off. Interesting. Amazon haul. Got oysters, some gloves, and some shuckers. Can you give me a plate though to... Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm on the camera? Mm -hmm. What kind of plate? No, that's whatever you want to eat off of. Yeah. Maybe a little embarrassing if I can't do it. <laughs> I believe in Sauces. Smells kind of good. Hell yeah. Soapy. Soapy. You want oysters? With the juice. <gasps> oh my gosh! So fun. I just poured myself a poppy. He thinks it's cough syrup. Sure. You literally drink Negronis, are you kidding me? No, it's made with apple cider vinegar, that's why you probably don't like it, but. Ryan just shucked all the oysters. Now it's time to have our feast. I know, I don't know why it's like that. Okay. Which one did you try, a big one or a small one? This one, medium. Medium. Alrighty. Oh. I'm gonna put some red sauce in there, some cocktail sauce, a little bit of horseradish. What am I gonna Horseradish to like give you a little kick. This horseradish is a little funky though. And some salt, but I forgot to do this when I was on the plate. So I'll do it. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, maybe out. that's the salt. Maybe that's the salt I just poured on it. Well, you gotta make sure there's no shells. I didn't do the best job. Cheers to an oyster date night. Hashtag sponsored by Whole Foods. Sponsored by oysters. Just kidding, but we're manifesting. Okay, I think we're gonna watch the Not Okay movie on Hulu tonight. But really coming in with this. Are you like serious? A brown stripe all in each one. Are you serious? That's probably from the dye. Probably. I have it on my hands. Anyways, okay. Bye. Finds followers and fame when she poses as the survivor of a deadly attack, but she soon learns online that notoriety comes with more. What do you think? Hmm? Well, you don't have an option. We're watching. Okay. It is Saturday, and I thought I would just add on to this unedited vlog. Oops. Um, this morning we went to Fletch Coffee. I feel like we go there quite often because it's like kind of walkable from us. And we took Sophie, and then it was a pretty chill day. 
for lunch, late lunch, we got Texas Sushi Co, which was, has been on my bucket list for so freaking long. So I wanted to plug in those clips right here and that will be definitely edited because I love making like cute little B-roll <laughs> sequences of like food I eat around Austin. Basically, it's like a hand roll place in the yard. I think that's what it's called, like South Austin. And it was pretty good. I do prefer this place called Yoroko. And that's actually on the east side. Because I think their stuff is just like a little bit more flavorful. But I think I need to try it again, like close enough to like, you know, compare the two. But still freaking good. Love me some raw fish. And tonight we're playing <laughs> Sophie. We're planning on making pizza. And I was gonna instant cart or instacart, whatever it's called, over some pizza dough because we went to our HEB and they didn't have any. And so Central Market had it. I was gonna instacart it and then I was like, or I went to go check out in the well checkout area on the app. And it said that I had to replace like three of the items, which was like the pizza dough. And luckily I had instant yeast so i actually went ahead and made my own dough which i'm really excited about it was pretty easy actually but then like 30 minutes later i got a notification like my instacart is on the way i'm like wait a second <laughs> i thought like it wasn't coming i was so confused anyways we're gonna try both of the pizza doughs and see which one's better hopefully mine is because that would be so fun if i knew how to make pizza dough at home like it was so easy like i said and um, now I'm making agua fresca. I made it in one of my other vlogs and it was so good. So I really have been wanting to make it again. Basically it's just like juicing some cucumbers and some limes together and then putting water and sugar and then a tahini rim because it just makes all the difference and makes it taste so good. But this weekend's been like pretty chill for the most part, which I don't know, I kind of wanted to do something that I normally don't do, like go out. <laughs> so I feel like I haven't been out in so long. I just feel like a grandma these days, like, but I feel like if my friends went out, like I would totally want to go out, you know? It's just like my friends are also in that chill mode, um, which, you know, you can't hate them because I like it. I do like being at home, but I'm home on the weekdays all the time, especially because I work from home and do everything from home. So I'm just like kind of sick of home right now. Um, but other than that, oh wait, yeah, we were supposed to go to Canyon Lake today. Um, and Today's been kind of like weird, like overcast rainy, which I feel like it really never rains here in Austin. So we're like, where'd this come from? Um, but yeah, so we were gonna go to there, but we were just like, maybe we should just wait till a really, really sunny day. Um, so it could be like super worth it. I'm just putting this in the juicer hopper. I love this juicer so much. I feel like every time I post it on Instagram, I get so many questions asking where it's from. It's from Na Nama Well. It's the Nama J2 juicer. Around like Black Friday, I found out about this. I have no idea where I even saw it, but like I sometimes can get really hyper fixated on things and like can't stop thinking about them until I buy them. So that was definitely one of the things. And I was very, very lucky that it was around Black Friday because I waited to get like a discount for it because um, it is a pricier um little kitchen appliance i feel like kitchen appliances can be really pricey these days but what's great about this juicer is that um like you put everything in the hopper at once and then you can just walk away and it juices it for you it's kind of i think they call it a slow juicer it's not really that slow it's pretty freaking fast so i don't know but um 
it is just so nice to not have to like feed a cucumber down and then press it down yourself and then like feed the carrot down, press it down, you know what I mean? So it's just like a lot easier. And this thing is insanely easy to clean. I remember having another juicer and like, I could never get it fully clean. Like there would always be some kind of residue, which is kind of gross. Um, so yeah, this one is so easy to clean. Like literally the design on this thing is so genius. At first I really just wanted it because it's so cute and aesthetic. And I was just like in the market for another juicer, but it has so many benefits. So I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. Again, it is a pricier object, but if you have a birthday coming up or something like that, then definitely recommend. I think I need, wait, which side is it? Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, let's start the juicer. Tokyo, oh, is it plugged in? Good, okay. So it like, I don't know, blades it. I don't even know what's going on in there. And then you can like close that so that it fills all the way up and then you can like let it out. Sophie. Um, just gonna stop it so I can put this one last cucumber in and then I'm gonna cut up the limes. We don't need limes for anything else, right, Ryan? I'm gonna like use up these limes. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do a fig and prosciutto pizza because I have some prosciutto that literally I've had for like a couple of months now or something like that. And it literally expired yesterday, but I think one day it's fine. <laughs> I was like meaning to eat the prosciutto yesterday, but I didn't really do that. So I was like, we should make pizza tonight because that is a perfect way to use the prosciutto. I love like any kind of like sweet and savory moment. Oh my God, I like fell in love with recently putting honey on my pizza, which I know is like horrible. I just have the biggest sweet tooth and I'm not sure that will ever really be not a thing. I really wish I wasn't like that. I don't get people who aren't like that, like don't have a sweet tooth. I really, really wish that was me. Unfortunately, it's not. Oh, also we saw that movie Not Okay last night on Hulu. Guys, I literally thought, I didn't realize I was like being cut off this whole time, but I literally thought it was like a rom-com between, what's her name, Zoe something, and Dylan O'Brien. No, it's like, I, I, it's just, I don't even know. I was like, okay, well, it's a good movie, but like thinking it's gonna be a rom-com, like I was kind of mad. <laughs> It's like, I was in the mood for a rom-com, so whatever. Um, but then we also started watching, what was it called? Wedding season, right, Ryan? Good. Good. Yeah, sh can we like restart it? I fell asleep and I could, like, could not, you know, like when you're like on the couch falling asleep and you're like, I just gotta go to sleep. Like, I cannot try to wake up. I cannot, so we need to pause that movie so maybe we can restart it today or tonight. Sophie, no barking. Right, the concoction is done. And now I'm just gonna win the glasses. This thing I got on Amazon and I think it's the cutest thing in the world. I still haven't put um, like salt and sugar. I need to do that, but I've just been using tahini, honestly. I'm just gonna rim it with some lime peel. Sophie's being a little feisty today. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do both. While I'm on a roll. Nice. Okay. Now I can put this away. I'm really bad at 
pouring stuff, so <laughs> wish me luck that I don't spill. I don't know, I feel like that's not good. Like this. Oh my god, why? 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 <laughs> Let's go see where Ryan is. There you go. Oh, I probably should have put ice, but you can taste it and then I can. Smell vinegar from here. It's not vinegar. What is it? <laughs> it's cucumber and lime, you know so. Babe! Don't waste the precious juice. What are you doing? Why'd you just chug it? <laughs> you literally <coughs> just chugged half the thing. Right, what do you mean? I said. Okay. Do you like it? It's pretty good. very very happy that I made my own dough because the central market one came in this and it literally only made this little one so I'm very happy but but now let's do the toppings wait so should we do this one with all what it would be thinner it's gonna rise a lot it'd be really thick you want me to do thin this one's pretty thin I don't want it to be too thin. This can, this can be yours. You can roll it out. Okay. That one make yours. You take this thick. You raise this. Wait, so one, do you want to do olive oil and cheese? And then one marinara and cheese? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to put the fig, like, what's it called? Fig jam, like, before I cook it. Or after. I feel like all my toppings go after. I think so. Maybe so. Let's do no, they have to be on. Think about like your pie, they put them in. This is true. But not the prosciutto because I don't want it to be cooked. You know? Yeah, no crispy prosciutto. No. That's very thin and thick, babe. Mm hmm. You love your thin pizza. I actually like mine to be on the thicker side. Do this thing? <laughs> yeah. Try. Oh no. Oh, good. Oh. 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 It's like getting. There? No, like. It's like sharply not. Oh, yeah. <gasps> wow. Up 
Alright, it's like a heart. Aww. Wait, you should make it into a heart. Okay. okay. It's all natural. Did you okay. need to leave? Alright, so... I need so, my own cookie sheet on. Yeah. Do you want to put it on the back of one? The what? Would that be weird? Well, okay. Is it going to fit in there? Here, get some parchment paper. <clears throat> Ryan. What? You can't edit this out. Okay. I'm gonna get all of this. Cross my seal? No! It's not parchment paper. Okay, well. You can use that. Who knows if it'll actually become a TikTok, but at least I'll have a bank. Oh. Bank. Bank videos. What do you want mine to be? I don't know. the central market want to be? Okay. Olive oil and cheese? Yeah. Cool. You want to mine or what? I'm good. <laughs> Can you tell Google to play some music? Google. Oh, the olive oil is leaking. What is? The olive oil is like Hey Google, play Morgan Wallen. Play Morgan Wallen. That means I have to turn you guys off so I don't get copyrighted. It's very authentic. <laughs> It's okay. When you're too been to Italy, it's just like, <laughs> you know, pizza's the same, you know? I realized I never showed you guys the popsicles, so I thought we could do an unboxing together. This looks very, very freaking messy. Um, let's see. I've been struggling, but it is about to come out. Oh, four, oh wait, I thought I put it in at 475. Okay, that's what it looks like. So yum. Okay, I'm gonna try them another day because we have some different dessert tonight. But yay, they look so good. Good job. Welcome good to Holly. Okay, mine is definitely thick, so Ryan did it right. He's always right. <laughs> How do you think we did? Doesn't mine look like, so good? Yeah. Yours was pretty good too. And this is like just pretty much cheesy bread now. But oh my god, I'm about to dive in. 